What's up guys, this is Louie, and today I'm going to show you how to get Discord working on an iPhone 3GS running iOS 6. This is pretty cool, it's another retro project. I recently did a video on how to get ChatGPT working on an iPhone 3GS running iOS 6, and it's actually the same developer that made this Discord tool. Google. His username is BagXML, and he kind of specializes in some of these retro projects. So Discord Classic is a client that works natively on older iPhones and older OSs. The only difference here is to get Discord Classic installed on your old iPhone, you have to jailbreak it first. The App Store doesn't work on older generation iPhones because Apple has discontinued it. So the only way to get it to work now is to sideload it. And in order to sideload the app easily, you need to be jailbroken. And jailbreaking is actually pretty easy on old phones like this. All you have to do is plug it into your laptop and download Posix Pwn. It's one of the links in the description below. And once you open that app on your laptop and click jailbreak, your phone should be done jailbreaking in 10 or 15 minutes. Once you've jailbroken, you'll have Cydia on your phone. And from there, you just need to hop in. And once you get into Cydia, you're gonna click sources. You're gonna click edit and you're gonna press add. You're gonna type in this URL, ponage.dev. And once you add that repository, click edit, add, type in ponage.dev. Then you're going to add it as a source. Once you have that repository added, then you can just go to the search over here and just type in AppSync. All one word. And you're going to install AppSync for iOS 5.0 plus. You can click modify and one of your options will be install. So now what that allows us to do is sideload any app we want. We did it in my last video with ChatGPT. This time we're gonna do it with Discord. So I'm gonna delete Discord, just so I can show you how it all works. And we're gonna to go to the same web page that I'm at on my laptop. And once we're on this web page, we can just scroll down to the download section to where it says install on device, and we can just click install. It's gonna ask us if we wanna install, and it should start downloading. There we go. Well, this is downloading. I just want to mention that most people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and subscribing is a great way to support the channel. Okay, so it's a little bit bugged. It still says installing, but I found out you can fix that by just going like this. Okay, maybe not. Yep, there we go. Now it's gone. All right, so I'm just gonna move my Discord to the home screen. All right, there we go. Discord on the iPhone 3GS. Let's open it up. And now this should work because we are jailbroken. The only gimmick with Discord on the iPhone 3GS is you need a login token to log in. You can't log in as you typically do. So I'll link a tutorial on how to get your Discord token down below. It's really straightforward. It takes about a minute. I'm gonna hit login here. All right, it's loading. It takes a second to get all the icons loaded in here on the left, but you'll have all your servers available over here which is pretty cool. So like I can go to this Minnesota Timberwolves server and click on general and just like that. So here we can see people talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves. They had a big win today. As far as features, we can send images. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can message. And as far as I know, the user list doesn't work. I've tried to get it to work a couple times, but I can't get it to load. If you guys can figure out how to get that working, feel free to let me know. Um, you can also message your friends directly if you click on the friends tab. I don't wanna expose all my friends, but that works as well. And this is my favorite part about it. If you need to refresh it, you can pull up on the sidebar here and look at this animation. How sick is that? I love that so much. So then it will re-authenticate and some stuff like that. I don't really know exactly what it does, but there's not a ton of features but the, the best reason to use Discord is this allows you to actually communicate with the device because I don't believe iMessage works with this phone. So if you're using this client for Discord, you could actually communicate with old devices by sending them images and videos and you can send images and text back, which is pretty cool. 
here's my YouTube inspiration server where we can kind of see what I'm working on here. And you can kind of see the thumbnails that I'm working on with my friend Kevin. Pretty cool. So here's the thumbnails for the last iPhone 3GS video I made. Here's my iPad Nintendo Switch video. Pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. All right, that's Discord running natively on the iPhone 3GS running iOS 6.1.6. .6. Pretty cool, guys. We add it to our arsenal. We've now got ChatGPT and Discord running on this 15-year-old device, about to be 16 years old. So this is pretty cool. I hope you guys like this video and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more like this and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.